Well, howdy, I am Arthur Morris, Birds is Art. And this is me and Homer in 2019. That is not me, that's my photograph of fraternity brother Harry Lerner. Uh, he's in no danger of the eagle. He was photographing the eagle on a log. The eagle took flight. I pushed the shutter button. We didn't have any snow this year, but we had tons and tons of flight photography. I created about 50,000 images, and I was the conservative shooter uh, in both groups. We had cloudy days. We had sunny days. Here's two eagles on the same plane. This and this with the 70 to 200 with the 1.4 teleconverter. That's really all you need on the trip. I was even teaching folks how to do vertical originals. This is a full frame vertical original. The bird just moved back in the frame a bit. We shot some silhouettes on cloudy bright afternoons and you go, what silhouette? Well, that's the silhouette. We taught folks the easy way to create images like this working in shutter priority mode with auto ISO with exposure compensation. We had some natural silhouette colors, pretty much out of the camera, but juiced up. Looked even better through the viewfinder. We had no problem making head portraits with anything as small as a 70 to 200. This is with the 200 to 600. This is with the 70 to 200. If you think of a good name for this, let us know. Five eagles on chert, C-H-E-R-T, regularian chert is the rock. Harry Lerner, who you saw in the second frame, loaned me his 4028, and that just may cost me about 12,000 bucks. I shot a bunch with it. Amazing bokeh, beautiful soft backgrounds. And I even found the opportunity to create a nice scenic. It's beautiful up in Kachemak Bay. We had a beautiful bird on a sweet perch. I didn't like the, uh, the second perch in the background. We'll see what happened to that. Here's another frame. When you're hand holding the 200 to 600, it's on the heavy side, so it's not easy to get identical framing every time. Then I moved to get just the pure water background. And with the Sony A1, it grabs the eye. You can put the bird on either side of the frame without a problem. Here it is moved to the center of the frame, or actually right of the frame. Then I did a horizontal, and we see more of the same bit here. Just little differences in framing and posture, uh, depending on how you hold the camera, how much your body moves. And here is the optimized version of this one. Just brought up a little detail in the whites. Here's the original that I like best of those two. So obvious move to eliminate the second perch, bring the detail into the whites. And the question is, which background do you like best? This one or the pure blue? So if you want to consider joining us in Homer, didn't snow this year, though that increases our chances for next year, check out the blog post. And if not, make some great pictures either way. And hopefully we'll see you in Homer next year. Cheers.